So what's the best way to transition old funky carpet to some hardwood floors? In this video, I'm gonna break it down for you. What's good, it's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and yes, we got some old carpet that we gotta transition to a hardwood floor here. So there was carpet in the room with the hardwood. We got all that torn out. Now we need to get a smooth transition because we're gonna keep this carpet from the hallway to the bedroom doorway, but we can't have it looking super jank because the house is hitting the market. So we're gonna pull that old carpet off of there. We're gonna remove some of that old seam tape as as well as much of it as possible without damaging the carpet then that old padding that's on the floor that's sticking out past the doorway we need to get rid of that as well and clean it up so go ahead and grab a hold of it pull those pad chunks out of there and then we're going to go ahead and get a pry bar or you could also use needle nose pliers whatever it takes to go ahead and pull some of those staples out of the doorway there so we have a nice clean workspace to transition this out I'm gonna go digging for some tools here. Let me see what I can find. All right, got a pry bar here. So we're just gonna take that little baby pry bar and we're flinging those staples every which way to get them cleared out, ready to rock. Just feel around with your hand slowly. Don't be all aggressive with it because you'll cut your hand on the staples for sure. But just kind of feel around, make sure you got every one of them because the last thing you want is to think you're at the finish line and then you have more staples to pull out. Nobody wants that. So pop a few more out, just work your way across till you get them all. Slowly but surely tedious job that nobody likes doing, but we're almost there at the finish line. Boom, boom, maybe, maybe not. And we're about good. I should just edit the rest of that out of the video there. There we go, there we go. Okay, we're good, ready to rock. Okay, next, we're gonna do the fast, effective DIY way on this one. So we got a flat metal here. We don't believe in tape measures in my world, so we're just going to take a pair of tin snips. I'm going to go ahead and lob that off from door jam to door jam there, marking it where we have to cut it, and then just snip it off. Then we're going to go ahead and put it in the doorway, find out that it's perfectly cut. I thought for sure I was going to have to cut that one one more time, but we're good to go. we got a box of nails. You can get all this stuff at your big box joints, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, wherever you shop at. They all carry these flat metals with the wood nails that go through them there to finish it off. Now we're going to go ahead and take our kicker. We're just going to press off of the back wall just a little bit to pull any slack forward. Make sure everything's lining up in the doorway from door jam to door jam. Let's go ahead and get that flat metal down. Get it lined up. I'm going to put a small stretch on that there. And we're going to take some of our nails and we're going to start filling in these holes. And when we do it, we want to make sure the nail is going through the carpet, but the carpet is not coming out past the metal, leaving some sloppiness hanging out. We want that metal to transition directly to the hardwood floor. You see, I got some old seam tape there. We're going to have to get my knife in there, try and pull it off. If that's not happening, get a knife, just lob it off. Here we go. We're going to cut it off. Watch those fingertips when you do that. Nobody needs to lose those. Now, Let's go ahead and finish working our way across. Make sure the flat metal is staying straight from door jam to door jam, lining up in each one. And then just go ahead and send those nails home, tap them in, try not to bash the metal. If you bash the metal, just be like, it was like that when I got here, not my fault. And then we're gonna finish working our way all the way across, just a few more nails in the metal and you'll be ready to rock. Now, if you're taking this on as an installer, you could do little jobs like this and get 75 to $100 and include the charge of the metal on top of your labor and if you're the DIY person this is without a doubt the easiest way to go ahead and transition carpet to a hardwood floor so if you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry go ahead and throw a comment down below as always I truly appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you on the next